Welcome to my Throne and Liberty Weapon Tier List. I'll be ranking weapons based on their overall contribution to each combination, not the combinations themselves. I think how some of the individual weapons perform may surprise some people. This should be a good idea of how each weapon adds to the individual damage output of each combination. Keep in mind, I'm using data from the Hyperboost server using Gate of Infinity rankings I've been gathering over the past few weeks. The rankings here sort of exist in a vacuum in a solo player instance, so don't use this as an end-all be-all tier list, but just one of many tools you should be looking at when determining what weapons you want to use when the global launch hits. This also won't include the crossbow changes they have mentioned, so I imagine crossbow may drop somewhat in the rankings, but I still think it would be a major contender in the tier list. I have taken the overall averages from the past few weeks of time trials and rankings within the Gate of Infinity on the Hyperboost server. You can see here on this chart the overall averages of weapon combinations with crossbow and dagger at the top and greatsword and wand at the bottom. I've then created normalized scores for each individual weapon. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll go over the math for anyone interested. I'll be starting off with D tier and moving up. Starting off, we have a contribution score of 16.7 with Sword and Shield in D tier. Sword and Shield being the de facto tank weapon makes sense to see it in the bottom tier. The majority of its active and passive skills are more about defense, resource generation, and CC rather than raw damage. Next, with a score of 17.4, is Wand and Tome in D tier. Wand and Tome's debuffs, like Curse and Sleep, see it contributing slightly more than Sword and Shield, but it does fall into the same tier since its active and passive abilities are more about healing, resource regeneration, and support. I don't think this tier is a surprise for Wand being the healing weapon, but this next weapon might be more shocking. With a contribution score of 23.5, we have Greatsword in C tier. Greatsword has a few damage-based passive skills, but also several defensive skills that lower its overall contribution to damage in weapon combinations, but increase its value in other content. It does provide great CC and some party buffs, so it's definitely still an amazing weapon, even though it has the lowest score among the DPS role-focused weapons. Keep in mind that Greatsword has a great deal of AoE damage, and the Gate of Infinity is more boss-focused, so it would rank a little bit higher if there were more targets in these fights. Coming out just a little bit higher than Greatsword is Longbow with a score of 27.8. Longbow has several critical and boss damage buffs, allowing it to decently add to the damage of combinations we see it used in. It also has several support and healing skills which might hold its score back, but these skills are much more important in other content like PvP and group play, so don't sleep on this weapon. Going into B tier, we have Staff, receiving a contribution score of 39.2. Staff's burning debuff, as well as its heavy attack buffs, put it solidly in B tier. While you wouldn't think that Staff pairs well with non-magical weapons, it pairs best with Crossbow, Longbow, and Dagger, making it a surprise pick for those weapon combinations. Jumping to A tier, we have Dagger, with a score of 51.7. Daggers provide an array of damage and mobility buffs, making them a prime weapon choice. They take advantage of other weapons, debuffs like burn or sleep, making them great for most combinations. They offer a strong debuff in the form of poison, but it's their focus on critical damage and critical chance that really adds to their weapon contribution, especially with our top weapon. In S tier, with a contribution score of 66.3, we have the crossbow. Crossbow's simply the best contributor to damage in almost all combinations. It has a wide variety of damage buffs in the form of bonus damage, critical damage, move speed, attack range, hit chance, and weaken chance. These strong buffs and debuffs the crossbow offers make it king in weapon combinations we see it used in, but keep in mind most people are not using it as their main weapon to attack, but more of to buff and debuff their targets. So as far as the math goes, I've taken the average of all weapon combinations for each time trial and converted them into seconds rather than minutes and seconds. Then I went ahead and converted all of that into a total average for each weapon. The next I gave them all scores by simply dividing them by a thousand so we can get something easier to look at. And here we have the weapon contribution scores 
Now these totals are a little bit skewed since some weapons show up in more fights than others, so we have to normalize these scores. So that's what you see here in this chart. And then of course I went ahead and ordered those scores and ranked them accordingly for the tier list. Agree or disagree with these rankings? Please comment below with your own lists and let everyone know why you rank them as you did. This has been Dead Man Fred, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Throne and Liberty content in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel.